Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel, Restore Zone. I'm glad you're joining us in today's video. So, guys, in today's video, we'll be talking about the Bit Browser. So, the Bit Browser is generally an anti detail browser which can help you in maintaining multi account systems for a cases where you will need to have multiple accounts. Let's take for an instance if you are someone that has a big business that solely depends on Facebook ads to run and sell your business. Most times, as you all know, Facebook is fond of terminating ads account and terminating people's account. So you might need to have more than one account for the sake of backups. So this type of browser can help you provide such scenarios where you can be able to safely create multiple accounts and handle it. That means that Bit Browser offers things like um, choices for you to have more browser windows also to have more login account and also prevent association between windows and account blocks so these are the main things that are offered by the bit browser they also have some other features that will explore at the cost of this video so this is the home page of the bit browser you can go ahead to read to know more about the bit browser and this is what they offer mostly there is multiple account management and anti association between browsers and also a more simulated login environment provided for the users so i will leave the link for you to go ahead and sign up and sign the bit browser right on the description go ahead and check out the link and create an account and i'll be guiding you through on how to go ahead and create an account right here and i'll also teach you guys how you can be able to go ahead create profiles and also manage your process right here using the bit browser so these are also the other things offered right here there's an efficient teamwork independent proxy ips and also social media automations so right now for you to go ahead and start using bit browser you will need to go ahead and install the application right here into your browser so right for you to get started you need to just go ahead and download the applications right here once you click on login it will require you to go ahead and download the app right here so this is the app and it works right here on laptop so you need to go ahead and install right for the windows they have the 64 bit and they also have the 32 bit right here for the mac os they have for this and also the apple silicon right here you can go ahead and download it right here and once you download it it's going to be looking like this right in your laptop go ahead and extract it and install it right into your laptop so now once you're done installing you can go ahead and proceed to create an account so the account creation page is going to look exactly like this so you will need to go ahead and sign up by creating an account right here you can create an account using two options you have the email registration right here and you also have the phone number registration but advisably i would advise you to go ahead with email registration using me because phone number registration may delay your verification code but with email registration your code can arrive as fast as anything so right here go ahead and put in your username right here username is the name you want to use right in the browser and also put in your password right here so make sure you put a strong password to and also a password you won't forget easily and then go ahead and confirm your password then put in your email address right here when you're done putting your email address you will see my invite code right here and then also you will need to go ahead and get a verification code that will be sent to the email address you've put in right in the first place so after that go ahead and also select the settlement currency you want to use right here you can select either usd cy or the rupees. so you can just go ahead and select one normally i use the usd because that's the one i prefer so you can also go ahead and then select that i have ready terms and condition and then proceed to go ahead and sign up in case if you already have an account you can go ahead and just proceed to login right here so over here is the dashboard right here you can see right here the dashboard the browser profile and also the cloud iphone rp and some other things i'll be talking about right in this video you can see right here group control browser sync all in one proxy ip right here integrate global proxy ip resources and also the short shield two three four five integrate the best cross-border resources right here so you can also see my username right here crypto zone 222 the row primary account and my balance right here i've not recharged right here and for you to enjoy the premium version of this browser you can be able to do that by subscribing and recharging right here so you can see my profile right here i can create up to 10 profiles and the user right here you can actually increase the number of users right here you can also add group control so you can add up to 10 group control right here and the ownership is permanent so you can see right here it's permanently available so now i'll be showing you guys or putting you guys through on how to go ahead and create an account right here create a browser profile and start browsing so without your creative browser profile you won't be able to go ahead and start any multiple account and managing your whole resources so right let's go ahead and do that so right over here is the browser profile go ahead and click on it 
and it's going to bring you over to this page right here you can see right here add right here for you to create a profile you need to go ahead and click on the add button right here click on it and it's going to bring you over to this page right here so what you need to do right now you need to go ahead and put in the name of the profile you are creating so you can just go ahead and put in any name of your choice it can be crypto zone it can be anything you call yourself you can put it right there then the next thing you need to go ahead and do is to go ahead and put in the group name so you can also put anything that you want to put representing the group you want to go ahead and create a profile for so you can just go ahead and put anything maybe i'll say maybe crypto zone 222 um for here or i can just name it crypto so the next thing you need to do is to go ahead and select the platform of which you're creating the profile for so there are many platforms right here so as i said earlier in case if you are creating a profile for uh, maybe facebook ads it's important to go ahead and choose facebook if you're creating a profile for um instagram ads it's good you choose instagram if you're creating a profile for twitter ads you choose x so you can just go ahead and choose any of these they have for youtube amazon paypal and account.google.com you can choose any one of these so I'll just go ahead and choose on facebook.com so the next thing is for you to go ahead and choose the username of the platform you've chosen already so since i'm creating an account for facebook ads i'll just go ahead and name my this stuff um fb ads so fb ads that's my group name so the next thing you need to just go ahead and do is to go ahead and put in the password for the account you already created so use a password that you can easily remember and that is also strong for your password the next thing is for you to go ahead and select where you want to go ahead and duplicate your validation right here you can go ahead and select you can see this is verified by username and the next thing is for you to also go ahead and either allow or deny the multi-option settings and most importantly the two-factor authentication key you can go ahead and add it you can use your google authenticator for this is very very important for maximum security and the next thing is for you to go ahead and add the remark of the account you are creating the profile you're creating add the remark describing what is about right on your remark section the next thing is to go ahead and add the site cookies right here if you are creating a profile for facebook go ahead and add facebook ad cookies right here and you can also go ahead and add more cookies if there are other cookies related to the account you're creating right here and also go ahead to add the site url right in this place right here go ahead and do it by clicking on this plus sign right here and you can be able to go ahead and proceed now we're moving to the next important part which is the proxy right here so in the proxy you can be able to get a proxy by using the custom method or you can also get a proxy by using the extra by api or the proxy management after that, i'm going to show you guys where you can be able to get proxy addresses right so now you can do this by either selecting this already custom one right here or you can go ahead and select from other options they have the ip api they have the roller ip they have the pair proxy they have the runner t they have the ip2 location they have the ip138 and the ip base you can select any one but let me just go ahead and go with the default and they also have the type as the proxy types right here they have the direct connection mode they also have other ones right here if you should drop down you see right they have the http they have https they have the sox5 they have the ssh they have the smart dynamic proxy and they have the storm dynamic proxy right here so again i'll go ahead and go with the custom right here done so the next thing is the preference so you go ahead and select the preference of the workbench you want to go ahead and use if you want to go ahead and use the local server you can go ahead and select this but if you don't want you can go ahead and disable it the next thing is also the abort image you can choose whether you want them to abort images coming or not if you're not about the image just go ahead and click on about image over right here but if you don't you can go ahead and leave it on the aim of this is just to help you save traffic right in your profile so the next thing is the synchronization process which is very very sensitive and very very important if you don't understand it please leave it in the default you can see right here after turning on the following synchronization item the corresponding data will be synced to the cloud which will help facilitate cross device usage and collaboration when sharing authentication profile the data from the site items will be also sent to the recipient please proceed with caution so if you don't understand the whole stuff go ahead and leave this ones and go to the next one where you'll be able to control the fingerprint stuff including selecting your browser right they have two browsers they have the bit browser right here and also the bitfox so preferably i'll go with the bit browser because it's the primary browser right here so they kind of actually have up to six kind of versions they have kind of version one two six one two four one two two one one eight one one 
to 104 and 92 but then it's advised that you use the most recent kind of action which is going to be one to six so now you also see the device at which you're operating from right here which is you can see right here i'm operating from a pc or a laptop and you can see right here it's under the windows and you can go ahead and put in your os version right here and you can also select your browser version right here and then some other details you need to know now the next thing is language if you want your device to go ahead and select language that it's already using you can go ahead and turn on this display language on but if you don't want all you need to do just go ahead and select the language you want to use right here i preferably use english so i'll just go ahead and select english right here and i'm good the next thing for me to do is to go ahead and also select the time zone for my profile and um, if you want you your device to go ahead and automatically sync your time zone based on your ip address you can leave this on but if you don't want to go ahead and turn it off and you'll be able to select it manually right here so but automatically i want it to psych it for me so i'm done with that you can also select your geolocation and your windows right here your resolution you can choose to allow your laptop or your device to automatically psych the default resolution font canvas webgl image from your device automatically psych it to your profile and that's the easiest but if you don't want you can go ahead and make it custom for yourself you can also go ahead and disable the canvas web image you can disable everything right here and make it suit your interest now the next thing i want to talk about before i proceed to the other things is your device name you can go ahead and change your device name right here. if you're using a mac address you can change it if you're using a device like desktop you can go ahead and change it to anything you want you can make it custom to fit in whatever you want to achieve with your profile so now that's it about these stuffs the next thing you do is when you're done with all these things the next thing you do is to either go ahead and select random fingerprint we already customize everything and then go ahead to click on confirm and everything your profile will be created and you are good to go so now we are done creating the profile all the things i want you guys to know about this is that you can be able to actually get proxies right here from the proxy ip they have different proxy options right here and some of them are paid for and the bit browser already have their own code the promo code that will help you get them at a cheaper rate they have the they have the proxy ip v4 they have the 92s 922s5 we also have the 911 proxy the lightning proxy smart proxies they also have this one right here that you need to buy and over here is a promo code that you use and get it as a cheaper rate they have the proxyly.com they also have the ip foxy proxy ip platform and some other products right here you can be able to explore and also see how it helps you also and most importantly you can also add more users to your account and the referral program is also one thing you need to know they offer referral programs you can be able to invite your friends right here and stand to get amazing rewards for inviting your friends when your friends buy premium packages also for you to get a link to invite your friends you will need to also buy a package please subscribe first to permanently display your promotion link so you need to also get it and you also see your referral code right in this side of the app so that's it about it and it's open for every single person and also the cost center like i told you you if you want to go ahead and use the premium version of this you need to go ahead and subscribe or recharge so to do that you need to just go ahead and click on recharge right here and then you'll be able to see the payment versions right here and everything first of all go ahead and put in the amount you want to pay right here and the minimum amount you can pay is ten dollars so next go ahead and select the um the medium or the meta you want to use and pay you have the visa the paypal trs20 usdt ethereum ERS 20 usdt bitcoin they have the pix the wallet you have the grab pay and other options right here go ahead select click on next and you can be able to go ahead and complete your payment and that's about the payment guys lastly if i end the video you can be able to also get help in case if you have any question or any confusion regarding the bit browser by checking out the help page right here you can be able to contact and check your customer care right up on telegram and also you can check them up on whatsapp and also via their emails so if you have any question that i can help you with you can do to ask in the comment section and i'll do my best to assist you you can also ask in the comment section and also on telegram and i'll do my best to assist you thanks for watching guys and until next time please do have a good day